In the French area of West Africa, there is a police officer who is just a joke in the eyes of everyone. He is now worried about his situation and has decided that he himself will improve his situation. Will that policeman succeed in his goal? To find out, watch this video till the end. This story is from 1938 when France was occupied in some areas of Africa. One of them was a poor area and there was only one policeman there, Lucien Cordier. Lucien was a kind-hearted policeman who wanted to help the poor. He himself was living a life where he did not get any help. Neither his wife yet respects him, nor anyone else. A man named Van der Broek, who is the owner of the timber company in that area, also shows him down in front of everyone, and his wife is upset about this. Everyone knew that Van der Broek breaks the law, but because of being a coward, Lucien did not even raise his voice against him. There is also a man named Nono in Lucien's house, who calls himself Huguette's brother. But Lucien knew that he was not Huguette's brother, but a boyfriend. Nono also does not respect Lucien and enjoys taking money from him. Still, Lucien can't do anything about it. Not only this, there were also two such men in that area, who were doing dirty work. Those two people named Lionel and Perron were also a headache for Lucien. But Lucien also lived in fear of them. He has never shown courage like a policeman. That's why he has become a joker and a slave for people. Only an old African named Faith respects him, who works in his police station. Lucian used to tell Faith what was in his heart. But every day after hearing the same thing, Faith also started getting upset with him. There is a woman named Rose in that area, whose husband beats her every day. But instead of stopping that man, Lucian lets Rose get beaten, because he doesn't even have the courage to stop Rose's husband. Despite this, he tries to get close to Rose because he has always liked her. And Rose also does not get rid of him in the desire for love. One day, Perron and Lionel, breaking the law in front of his eyes, started using African people's corpses as a prey. And when Lucien tried to stop them, he said that it was just the corpse of black Africans who had no importance. He also forced Lucien to shoot, and by reminding him of his place, he scared him again. Lucien was upset with this misbehavior. And the next day, he went to the city to tell his superior Marcel about Perron and Lionel. He was surprised to see the life of the city. And when he told Marcel that 1,200 people living in the village are upset, then Marcel said that the lives of those black poor people are in trouble. And they are not considered citizens, but only Negroes. Lucien began to explain to him that they are human beings and they should get their rights. But Marcel didn't care. After giving up, Lucien told him about Perron and Lionel and said that they have made his life unbearable. Then, Marcel paid attention to what he said. Marcel embarrassed him and started telling him that if a person kicks him, he should turn around and beat him. Otherwise, he will start kicking him more. He told Lucien that he would have to teach them a lesson himself. But listening to this, Lucien, who was understanding, perhaps Marcel did not want to explain to him. On the way back to the village that day, a woman named Annie came in front of him who is going to live in the same village. He and Annie became friends, and he found out that Annie is going to work as a teacher in that village. They reached the village talking about each other's work, and Annie thanked him and gave a book to Lucien. As soon as he returned home, Lucien faced Lionel and Perron, and started threatening them with his gun. Telling them to sing a song, Lucien killed them both, and washed their bodies in the river. For the first time, Lucien woke up from his sleep, and one night, Someone suddenly reached his door. Seeing his anger, Huguette got scared. Marcel came to the door, who found out about the murder of Perron and Lionel. He suspected that it was Lucien's work, but Lucien refused. Marcel said that he had said something about kicking in a joke. That's why he was relieved to know that Lucien did not take his words seriously. Making the lives of his enemies, Lucien also succeeded in proving himself innocent in front of Marcel and he said that the people who are bothering him are someone else, and they have left that village. Marcel said that he wanted to go to the local hooker, but he was so tired after going there that he had to take Faith to the police station himself. Marcel said that he told a hooker in a drunken stupor that he had killed their owners, that is, Perron and Lionel, and now if the needle of suspicion could fall on anyone, it was Marcel and Lucien was free from this crime forever. Not just hookers, Marcel said the same thing in front of everyone, and then alone, Lucien told Marcel that he had made himself a suspect in everyone's eyes. By the time Marcel realized his mistake, it was too late. 
and now Lucien was burdened with his own superior. Lucien now had the courage that he had never had in his life, and with this courage, he began to roam the whole village. One day, he saw a French man beating a worker, but he was forced by habit, he did not arrest anyone this time either, and Annie was surprised to see this. Priest also kept explaining to him that he should do his work properly, but Lucien said that he did not have the courage to do his work. After talking to the priest, like his last act, he faced Rose's husband this time, and by punishing him for his sins, he also killed him. After that day, Rose kept looking for her husband, but when she did not find him, she happily continued her affair with Lucien. Lucien soon told her that he had killed her husband. Knowing this, Rose became more happy than before. The next morning, Lucien took Rose to his corpse, where for the last time, Rose vented her anger and became free from her husband forever. Rose started doing a play with Lucian and started showing everyone that her husband is missing and she is very worried. One night, a film was shown to the villagers, and on one side, where Huguet, Nono and Rose were watching the film, Lucien was watching the film with Annie. Suddenly, there was a storm. Between the storm, Lucien and Annie took care of each other. All the villagers ran away from there, and Lucien got a chance to spend time with Annie. That night, Lucien told Annie that his father had killed his mother after Lucien was born. And since then, Lucien did not get proper upbringing, and he always lived in fear. Rose now started living in Lucien's house, and in this way she was able to continue her affair with Lucien. Lucien had also arranged to teach a lesson to Vanderbroek. His plan succeeded and he embarrassed Vanderbroek in front of everyone. As a result, Vanderbroek had to break the bathroom which was in front of Lucien's house. And at that time while arguing, Nono and Huguet realized that Lucien is not innocent, but an evil. Huguet thought that Rose's husband would come back and try to kill him. So she took him to get a gun, and Lucien started teaching her how to shoot a gun, because of which, Faith had to face the fear. After a while, Lucien saw Nono taking the stairs, and when he followed him, he found out that he was secretly watching Annie. To impress Annie, he started beating Nono in front of her, and in this way, he also took revenge from Nono. That night, he told Annie that he loves Rose, but he could not get away from Annie even if he wanted to. And this put Annie in deep thought, because she also started liking Lucien. Rose also said that Annie and Lucien look good together, and she would not have any problem with them. Rose and Lucien went to Rose's house, but one day, Rose's husband's dead body suddenly appeared at their door. Rose's servant had brought that dead body, and he knew that Lucien had killed him. Lucian asked him for help in burying the dead body, but his real purpose was not to get help, but to shut him up. So as soon as he got a chance, he killed that servant too. He was not happy after killing an innocent person, and he told Rose that he was getting tired of his life. The next day, the servant and Rose's husband's dead body were found by the police, and they came in front of Rose with the dead body. Now being a local policeman, Lucian was also called to that house. He started trying to prove with Rose that Rose's husband and his servant must have killed each other, and they were trusted. The day of Rose's husband's funeral came, and Nono came to know that Rose and Lucien's affair was going on. He wanted to tell this to Huguette, but to say such things about a widow, Huguette blamed him. During the funeral, the priest was upset, because on one hand, Rose was happy with her husband's death. So on the other hand, Huguette was talking about selling the church and making money. One day, Perron's brother came to that village. Seeing him, everyone thought that Perron was alive, and Lucien also thought that Perron's ghost had come in front of him. But then he came to know that he was Perron's brother, George, and he was a policeman. He came to know about his brother's death, and he wanted to find the killer. He had a doubt on Marcel, so he wanted to work with Lucien. Lucien became George's friend, and he started looking for the place where Perron was killed. George was completely different from his brother. That's why Lucien liked talking to him. He told George the things that Perron used to do. Knowing this, George was embarrassed. George started going back to his house. And before leaving, he said that he understood that Perron was killed by Lucien. But confusing him, Lucien said that the next day after Perron's death, he saw Perron alive. This bothered George so much that he started behaving like a madman. And he had to forget the death of Perron. Lucien went back to his life and started spending time with Annie. He was getting more and more depressed. That's why he confessed all his sins in front of Annie. He told Rose that he is so tired that he wants to leave everything and run away. And on the other hand, Annie was still worried about Lucien's confession. After listening to Nono, Lucien came to know that Huguette had hidden some money. And with the help of that money, she is going to run away with Nono. 
After stealing the money, Lucien went to Rose. After that, they decided to leave that place forever. Huguette and Nono understood this and reached Rose's house. At the right time, Lucien hide from them. But Rose couldn't hide from them that she was having an affair with Lucien. Suddenly, they started beating Rose. And to save her life, Rose killed both of them. Lucien was still hiding like a coward and was watching Nono dying in front of his eyes. At the right time, while patrolling, some soldiers came there. But Lucien managed to keep them away from the house. Asking for help, Rose came to Lucien and Lucien told her that she should take the money and go away from there forever. Lucien himself didn't want to go with her because he was really tired now. He said that he would never meet Rose again. After arguing for hours, Rose agreed to go away from there. While leaving, she said that she would pray to God that Lucien should die a dog's death. And after everyone left, Lucien only had Annie left who was in love with him. Despite knowing about his sins, Annie wanted to accept him. Lucien said that he was no longer worthy of love. And after that night, until his death, Lucien lived his life only with regret and sorrow. On that note, movie ends. So friends, that's all in today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in the next video. Till then, peace out.